what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now look at this nice and beautiful question that we have you on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says the cube root of the square root of 5 plus 2 plus the cube root of the square root of 5 minus 2 so our first step towards solving this question is to say let a be equal to this first expression which is the cube root of the square root of 5 plus 2 and let b be equal to this second expression which is the cube root of the square root of 5 minus 2. so now let's remove the radical by taking the cube of both sides so when i take the cube of both sides i'm going to be having a cube to be equal to the square root of 5 plus 2. i'll do the same thing to this other one so i'm going to be having b cube to be equal to the square root of 5 minus 2. now notice that these two expressions are the same. The only difference between them is the signs they have. This is plus and this is minus. So it means that when I multiply these two expressions, I'm going to be having difference of two square. So let's multiply these expressions. So I have a cube, b cube. So multiplying, I'm going to be having uh, the square root of 5 plus 2 times the square root of 5 minus 2. So this is difference of two squares. And how do we express difference of two squares? So I write a, b, cube. So I'm going to be pairing them with a single power. Equal to, so difference of two square, this is the square root of 5 squared minus 2 squared. Are you saying that? Very good. So now I have a, b, cube to be equal to, now notice that this square will go with this square root, leaving behind 5 minus the square of 2, I'm going to be having 4. So my AB cube is going to be equal to 1. So let's remove this cube. How do we remove the cube? Simply by taking the cube root of both sides. So when I take the cube root of both sides, I'm going to be having AB to be equal to 1. So that is it. So our next step will be for us to subtract A cube minus B cube. So I have a cube minus b cube will be equal to a cube is the square root of 5 plus 2 so that is square root of 5 plus 2 minus b cube b cube is the square root of 5 minus 2 so let's go so that my a cube minus b cube will be equal to now notice using this negative to open up the brackets i'm going to be having the square root of 5 plus 2 minus the square root of 5 plus 2 now notice that the square root of 5 minus square root of 5 is gone. So that I have a cube minus b cube to be equal to 4. That's it. So we have two equations. We have a b equal to 1 and we have a cube minus b cube to be equal to 4. Now notice that this is difference of two cubes. Which can be expressed as a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared that's it equal to four now i want to express what is inside of this bracket like this that is i want to express this in terms of a minus b and how do i do that so this expression becomes a minus b times now watch this becomes a minus b squared plus three a b so another way to express this is like this so close your brackets equal to 4 now notice that we've already got a b in the first equation a b is equal to 1 so I'm going to be substituting 1 for a b so when I put 1 here 3 times 1 is 3 so my expression is reduced to a minus b times a minus b squared plus 3 close your brackets equal to 4 let's continue in the next slide so let's go ahead and open up this bracket so we have a minus b cube plus 3 times a minus b equal to 4 now notice that we have a cubic equation so we can therefore say that let u be equal to a minus b that means wherever i see a minus b i'm going to be putting u so let's go this equation can be written as u cube plus 3u equal to 4. now let's move this 4 to the left hand side so we have u cube plus 3u 
minus 4 equal to 0. Now, I'm going to be using the factor theorem to solve this cubic equation. And one of the factors is u minus 1. And dividing by u minus 1, I'll be having the other factor as u squared plus u plus 4. That's it, equal to 0. Now, I have two cases, which is u minus 1 and u squared plus u plus 4. So let me check if I'm going to be having a real value here by finding the discriminant. So using discriminant formula, discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So let's substitute. b is 1, so I say 1 squared minus 4 times a. a is 1 times c. c is 4. You notice that the discriminant is negative, so I'm going to be rejecting this. And I'll focus on this case, which is u minus 1. So we can therefore say that u minus 1 is equal to 0. And looking for u, we have u to be equal to 1. But remember that we said u is equal to a minus b. That means a minus b is equal to 1. Remember what we said. Remember that a is the cube root of the square root of 5 plus 2, right? Cool. Minus b is the cube root of the square root of 5. This is minus, minus 2. But the question actually wants us to find the addition. That means plus. So how do we get a plus? Well, I'm going to be applying a little trick here. Remember that a plus b b squared can also be written in terms of a minus b squared, a minus b squared. But in order to validate it, I'm going to be adding plus 4ab. That's it. So let's go ahead and substitute. I've already got a minus b. a minus b is 1, so this is 1 squared plus 4. ab is 1. Do you remember? So let's put the 1 there. So I'm going to be having 1 squared plus 4 times 1 is 4. So 1 squared plus 4, I'm going to be having 5. So taking the square root of both sides, I'll have a plus b to be equal to the square root of 5. Remember, a, this is a plus b is equal to the square root of 5. So our answer is the square root of 5. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.